Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to do a comparison with the Xbox One S controller working on Bluetooth and using the wireless adapter for Windows to do a range test. So first of all I'm going to do the range test on Bluetooth, see how far away we get before it loses sync and then afterwards I'm going to sync it up to the Windows adapter here and then do another range test just to see if they work roughly the same amount or whether there's a, a greater distance using the Bluetooth. And I'll be using the Xbox app on Windows 10 to do this test. The first test is going to be using the Bluetooth adapter. So I'm going to unplug the Windows adapter. And all I'm going to do is use the right analog stick and I'm just going to keep going around in circles like this. And as soon as it stops spinning, my daughter's going to shout me and then I know it's lost sync. And we should probably also see that light will start to flash as well. So I'm just walked out of that room now. And into the hallway. About to start going up the stairs. About halfway up the stairs. Still keeping sync. Up to the top of the stairs now. Just going into one of the front bedrooms. So we've got sync. Okay, it's stopped now, and as you can see, it's flashing. So we've got all the way over to the corner of the front bedroom. So now I'm going to do the same with the Windows adapter, and let's see how far we get. Okay, now I'm going to unplug the Bluetooth. I'm going to plug in the Windows adapter. Press the button to sync it up. Press the button on the top of the controller. Okay, so they've now synced up. Let's have a look here. Okay, and I'm going to do exactly the same thing again. And this time, it's using the Windows adapter, so it's not on Bluetooth now. Okay, let's go. So out of the room. Through into the kitchen, into the hallway, let's start climbing the stairs, and there we go, it's gone already. Okay, so that's not even half the distance. Okay, I'm going to try that one again with the Windows adapter, just to make sure, see if this is bad again. Right, before it stopped just as we got onto the stairs, and now we're going up to the stairs again. Yeah, it's gone again. Okay, so when it comes to streaming your Xbox One over to a Windows device, the Bluetooth definitely has a much bigger range than using the Windows adapter. Okay, I hope you found that video useful. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it. Take care now.